Welcome back guys, today we will be looking at snake, but not just that, we will be building a perfect snake AI that will beat snake for us. Snake is a very popular game, so this will be easy to make, so let's get started. In our snake AI project, there are two parts or nodes that we have to resolve, the game and the AI itself. Since the former is undoubtedly easier to explain, let's start with the game. The library we will be using to render our game is Pygame. Pygame is an open source library that allows us to render and create 2D games for our needs. It's also really useful for creating application code. To start, we'll first need to divide the board into squares for our snake game. Set this as a constant so that we can later change the size of our board. The next step is to add the actual snake. Based on what position the snake is, you have to swap all the blocks for the previous block. This will give the impression that the snake is moving. For the food, all we need to do is choose a random position on the board. After the snake eats the food, just increase the snake length by 1. Now we have a functioning snake game. This will be a nice GUI to program with our AI. As you can see, the food that we rendered in changes randomly as the snake eats it. I've rendered the food color as red, but you can change it to whatever you want. As for the snake, I rendered it green, but you can change it to blue or purple, whatever you want. Coding the snake is pretty simple. For this project, I will be using Python as it is compatible with Pygame. In addition, it's really easy to create a snake game with it due to its simple nature. Coding should not take that long. Overall, snake is a pretty easy game to make and due to its simplicity, we can run our AI later at max speeds. The type of algorithm we will be using is called pathfinding algorithm. Pathfinding algorithms are really common and are used in a lot of problems dealing with mazes and all sorts. Think of GPS as one big pathfinding algorithm with the roads and the destinations leading to it. The specific algorithm that we will be using is called ASTAR. ASTAR is typically considered to be the champion of pathfinding algorithms. This is because it looks in the direction of the destination. The reason why ASTAR is so efficient is because it uses three cost variables to determine the shortest path. Each path has a different cost, so we want to find the path with the lowest cost, hence the shortest path. With this in mind, let's go back to the board that we created before, rendered in with the snake and random food. Using the previously mentioned A star algorithm, we can find the shortest path from the snake head to the food. There are other ways to do this however, like training an AI, but there are a few problems to this. Firstly, an AI takes too long to train. Secondly, the AI won't be that good to beat the game. So we will be using the ASTAR algorithm for this test. The way that we will interpret our ASTAR algorithm is to use a directional array. For example, if the ASTAR algorithm tells us to move down, we'll interpret that as a zero. If the ASTAR algorithm tells us to move up, we'll interpret that as a one. In this way, we can read out our ASTAR algorithm incredibly quickly creating a very efficient program. Now let's run it up in our program and see what happens. There are other ways to do this instead of A star. One involves the use of a Hamiltonian cycle. A Hamiltonian cycle is a cycle that goes through all the points on a grid and returns back to their original position. This is a guaranteed win as there is no way that the snake could hit itself with this Hamiltonian cycle. The problem with this solution is that it's pretty lame, and it takes a long time. Here I run an example of a Hamiltonian cycle. So yeah, it beats the game, however, it's not very efficient, as it took me a full 30 minutes to run the program and successfully beat the game. Also, I kind of consider this cheating, as you're literally going in a guaranteed win loop over and over again until you beat the game. For these reasons, I'll be using the A-star algorithm. 
So here, let's run our AI with the A star algorithm implemented. So as you can see, the basic A star algorithm does pretty well, but there are a few problems. The first is that the shortest path isn't necessarily what we want all the time. This is because if you keep on going on the shortest path, you will eventually trap yourself. To fix this, we use a method called validation, where we simply look into the future in our A star algorithm to determine if we would get trapped. If the A star algorithm detects that this is an invalid path, we'll simply chase its tail. However, this is easier said than done. In fact, I would definitely say that this is the hardest part in developing a snake AI. The problem is that even though A star is an efficient algorithm, it still needs to go through a ton of paths. This is because the problem we are dealing with is known as a heuristic problem, which basically means that it can only be solved while brute forcing it with a ton of computing power. But I was able to do it, so here's the complete snake AI.